Hi there, this is Manish Vijay from PM Pulse and we bring to you another powerful, very important PM video for you. This video package contains 200 PMP guided questions and when I say guided, it's guided through me. I read the question and give you the answer and also explain why something is an answer, 200 of them. This is set one. Now this set is not exactly like PMP. Many of the questions in this set will be similar to what you find in a real PMP exams. So why would you like to go through this particular set? Well, this particular set is gonna get you started. This one is gonna make sure that you understand the concepts, that you can recall the concepts really fast, and that, that you are confident with the most important tips and tricks, the most important definitions, the most important ethos, the most important calculations that regularly show up on PMP exams. So that is the only purpose for this. This set is only to make sure that you've revised very well. Yes, some of these questions do show up on the PMP exam. They're very similar, but most of the questions are moderate. I wouldn't say very simple, but they are moderate. All right, welcome back to the 200 guided PMP questions set one. Moving on to question number 87. One of the inputs to the process validate scope is verified deliverables, which is an output of the process A, perform quality assurance, B, develop project charter, C, control quality, and D, create WBS. And the correct answer is control quality. Please remember that the deliverables have to have gone through quality control before they are made available to the clients or customers for final inspection. Validate scope. All right. So keep that in mind. Question number 88. An activity has an early start ES of day three, a late start LS of day 15, and an early finish EF of day nine, and a late finish LF of day 21. The activity A is on the critical path, B has a lag, C is progressing well, D it is not on critical path. And the correct answer is it is not on critical path. You see, all you have to know is that if there is a difference between late start and early start, they are not the same date. That means they are not on critical path because the, uh, the calculation of float uh, is late start minus early start or late finish minus early finish. And if it is zero, it is on the critical path. But right now we can say it is not on the critical path and therefore, you know, uh, I mean, the value is not zero and therefore it's not on the critical path. Okay, do it again. Question number 88. And therefore it is not on the critical path because the value uh, of uh, float is zero. Now, some people also end up answering has a lag. And that is because that they confuse float with lag. So remember, this is not a case of lag. This is a case of float. Perfect. So don't get confused. And uh, the correct answer, it is not on the critical path. Right. So you don't even have to calculate. Just seeing the difference in values of early start and late start is enough to know whether the activity is on the critical path or not on a critical path. All right. <coughs> Let's move on to question number 89. The three outputs of the process define activity are A, activity list, resource list, and holiday list. B, resource calendar, activity attributes, and scope baseline. And C, activity list, activity attributes, and milestone list. And D, this is a trick question. This process has only one output, and it is activity list. And the correct answer is C, activity list, activity attributes, and milestone list. And if you like, go ahead and subscribe for it. And even if you don't, I have the best of wishes for you. Go ahead and ace PMP exams, and I really hope that we become a part of your PMP journey. Thank you for watching, and I hope that you do extremely well in PMP exams. Take care.